What's going on, guys? So, I originally wanted to do a game as China. I wanted to play as the Taiping Rebellion, the Heavenly Kingdom. And then I found out that it's broken. If you check the wiki, it says that if you win the Taiping Rebellion, you annex, you get all of your substates. All the substates stay your substates. Uh, just, that's just not true. And I was trying to think, what's a sort of a big, you know, nation that's kind of like China? And I thought, why not India? I'm not going to screw with the UK too much, but we're just going to go into release nations and do India play as. So you start out uncivilized, quote unquote. We can choose who we want to go to war with. Uh, we've got cores on everything uh, in India, but we can go do some, some quick early wars. Yeah, like Sikkim. No one's going to miss Sikkim. Wow, what a good job we did. We might want to go for Burma ASAP because the British declare a war on them pretty early. Easy war. But the cool thing about playing as any country released from, uh, from the UK is that you get HM's government, which is literally the best one in the game. Look at these outfits, man. We're purple guys. Oh shit. Oh no. The French are coming for us. That's no good. All right, well, if the French are gonna come for us, they're gonna have to fight for every single scrap of territory. Okay, sick. All right, so we got Burma. Oh, you might be technologically inferior, but we have so many people. Oh, come, yeah, come on. Oh, kill him. We won, we won the battle. So now we just gotta keep an eye on the coast. Oh shit. We gotta defend them. We gotta defend our boy over here. Oh my god. Kill the French. We are not in the best position. We got slaughtered. Why do they think they can add war goals? Come on. Why, you're not gonna help us fight the battle on your literal capital, dude? This triumphant music is not really fitting, is it? Oh, they got access from the British? How could you, Britain? How could you? I mean, they haven't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Everyone. Get in here. Just go for it, man. What the hell? Come on. Oh, we won. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, you bastards. It's going to take the entire French army just to take us down. God, this is a nightmare battle. This is a nightmare war. I mean, it is not going in their favor. No, I'm not giving you any of my stuff, man. Oh, I can retreat into Goa. This is such bullshit, man. I don't know why I'm even like trying to encircle them when because of like Goa and Hyderabad, we're never going to encircle them, I don't think. Maybe we could lure them into Bombay. Okay, they're going to Bombay. Okay, perfect. All the Indians are going to remember this battle. This is going to be our Valley Forge. Are we going to kill him? Yeah, we killed him. <laughs> we can add a Wurgle. Yeah. Give us French Madras. This is going to be our first victory against the European oppressors. Oh, yes. We got the land back. Yeah, now we're, we're gonna go crazy over here. All right, so we got Kashmir. The British are slowly increasing their influences with all the people who we want to kill. That's a problem. Yeah, I want to invite Afghanistan to this shindig. Sick, when you're not. Uh, westernized, like the only rebels that can pop up, I'm pretty sure, are reactionaries. So, instead of like what we normally have, which is when you play this game, which is like a bunch of liberation movements, they all get funneled into being reactionaries. 
Hey, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hey, whoa, look at this. Ooh, haha. -ha. Ooh, uh, oh. A little bit of a uh, restoring order. How about a little bit of a uh, of restoring order on Panjab? There's a reason why I'm concentrating all my units around here uh, before I set them to attack before the rebels spawn. It's because I'm pretty sure if they siege down your capital, uh, you're just screwed. There's, there's just nothing you can... They'll, they'll, they'll just enforce demands. I've had that happen to me before where it's like you know, a tiny rebellion, but they just happen to take your capital, and so you get screwed over. Hey. Points. And you what points mean? Prizes. What beautiful borders we have. Wait, what? Travancore? Ooh! Yeah, okay. Don't mind if I do here. We might want to start eating Afghanistan, actually. The vast overwhelming majority of people in my country are not getting all of their needs fulfilled. And that's really what raises their, uh, their militancy and their consciousness. I'll show you, let me give you an example. So these guys are getting none of their life needs, none of their everyday needs, none of their luxury needs. They are pissed because their life needs are not fulfilled. They want to kill people. It's going to radicalize them, them not having their their needs fulfilled. This guy's British and uh, Christian, so he's just mad. Understandable, I guess. None of these people are getting their, their life needs fulfilled. Minority culture, life needs not fulfilled, everyday needs not fulfilled. That's the that's the triple threat, right? These guys are pissed. They're pissed off. Consciousness have more to do with luxury goods. Yeah, you know, the more luxury goods they get, the more conscious they are. So this guy's a bureaucrat. These Muslim bureaucrats in uh, Kalat, Baluchi bureaucrats in Kalat, they're doing well for themselves and they're conscious and they want you know passive sort of political change, while these guys are not getting the shit that they need and are you know want violent revolution. And there we go. Bam! Instantly seventh great power. Okay. Yeah, our entire country is now gonna leave to Brazil, the United States, and Uruguay. Yeah, and now we can actually become like a democracy, which is kinda kinda neat. We got reactionaries, anarcho liberals, reactionaries probably gonna have a. Yeah. It's gonna be a little silly. It's gonna be it's gonna get up worse before it gets better. I can tell you that much. So Afghanistan, they could probably kill them. <laughs> I think Afghanistan has outlived uh, their usefulness at this point. Hey, we're in great power now. Okay, all these little derps. We want to get them out of the British sphere of influence. Let's try to knock these guys down one out of the British sphere, and then we can take back Goa. Can't wait till China collapses, by the way. In the game, of course. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my capitalists have the right idea. No, we're not signing the Geneva Convention. What do you think I am, an idiot? Hey, we found the Nile. Yeah, we're gonna be absolutely evil uh, and conquer Afghanistan. You know what I should have done? I should have gone into Arabia, get more ports, so we can go into Africa later. But there, I don't have the tech. Yeah, I don't have the tech to go scrambling, and it looks like the scramble has already started. 60% literacy rate by the end of all this. Mark my words. Hey, we have Afghanistan. Hey, they broke free. Sorry. It's just business. Yeah. Hey, our population is growing again. Oman occupied Goa? You're an idiot. Okay, I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Sick. Hey, look at this. So if we sphere Hyderabad, surely they won't be a satellite of the British anymore. <laughs> They're in our sphere now, come on. That'll be easy. <gasps> Holy crap. They're ten. Ten capitalists in India. Oh wow, they just westernized. Wait. Add the sphere? Yeah, let's do an add the sphere. Let's get them all. It's like Pokemon, like connect collecting the Chinese Pokemon. Yeah, 
his or her majesty's government. What happened to our economy? It's like the communists got in charge and everything went to shit. No, Portugal. I'm not your friend, Portugal. I'm your landlord. That's what I am, Portugal. And I've come to collect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Portugal. This is what you get for taking Goa. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? I like that we have a little buddy Yunnan over here. He's our little friend. Okay. Sick. Why is Tibet in the American sphere? That's so bizarre. If I was really dedicated, I would be looking at the craftsman glitch and trying to use that to my advantage. I'm not gonna do that though. Oh wow, funny. Greece go bankrupt, haha. <sighs> this is disgusting. This is the worst Africa I've ever seen. How is it gonna take us to do this? Yeah, sure, Italy. As soon as I colonize Ethiopia, Italy's like, hey, man. Probably would have been, yeah, it would have been way better to invade Ethiopia, even though it would have been way uglier. Oh, shit. It's Great War. Yeah, let's get India first to the North Pole, of course. Yeah, my boy, Mongolia. Yeah, I hate to say it, but this war with the British, I must have waited too long. It's less epic than I thought it would be. Hey, we've all but cast out the British. <laughs> oh my God, look at them. They're so mad. Look, they got Indian pan-nationalists. That's crazy. What happens if Indian pan-nationalists win? I I don't even know. <laughs> this is this is like crazy. This is a crazy war. Russia, Germany, and Italy versus France, the UK, and Austria-Hungary. And they keep winning because France and Austria-Hungary suck. We should stop taxing rich people, so that way they will build factories. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we just inherited Nagpur. Taiping nationalists? Chinese comic Dude, not in a good way, brother. Oh. <laughs> this is the most overwhelming industry tab I've ever seen in my life. British communists? Oh man, it's all downhill from here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you didn't believe me. But that was a, a giga brain play. To annex all the rest of India. <laughs> oh man, they're ruining France. Yeah, so by doing this, we're indirectly helping Italy. I support Italian unification. <laughs> oh my god. This is nuts, whatever is happening in China. Usually China just snowballs. Evil world I've created. Just a despicable, horrible, nasty place. I mean, at least India is chilling though. Finally. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. It's kind of it's kind of a weird old history where Russia doesn't become communist but Britain does. Hey, India reached Antarctica before anybody else. All right, China. Oh wow. Wait, can we we can annex we can annex the heavenly kingdom? 12 million pops. It's a lot of pops. That's incredible. I've never seen this.
<laughs> oh man. You're gonna get ironclads. Yeah, we I think we have the highest population. To be fair, conquering like these three provinces doubled our <laughs> our size. You're really in a perfect position as India to, to just dominate China. I guess Japan is our rival, really. We give it all to Italy. Italy, my son. <laughs> <laughs> Italy, my son. I'm very proud of you. You're my boy. This is what dreams are made of, Italy. Oh. <laughs> All the boys are coming in on this one. The add to sphere war goal is really never worth it unless you are like declaring war on someone with a huge population. <laughs> ah, finally. Women's suffrage. We haven't really been paying attention to the culture map mode. I did at the beginning. But look, so it's mainly Mashrik and uh, and Bedouin over here, but now it's mainly Marathi. If I conquered more stuff in Arabia and Africa, places that are relatively low population, it would be even crazier over here. Like this, I, I could easily turn the Arabian Peninsula into whatever culture. This is a, a beautiful map mode. <laughs> I think before we finish this game, here, here are my two goals. Annex Tibet, get Guangxi in my, in my sphere. I almost can't believe that we got the Taiping Rebellion to spawn. It wasn't the actual Taiping Rebellion event, it was just that their militancy and their and their stuff got so high, and their, and their consciousness got so high that they just revolted. What a twist that the communists are stuck on Taiwan. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what is going on, man. India gains a humiliate Cassus Billy against Japan. They're only allied with Korea. I mean, it's something to do, really. Now, I want to do it on my own. I'm doing a classic attacking Japan strategy here. <laughs> Still, I got samurai units, what? <laughs> these, these Indian guys invading Hokkaido. <laughs> the, Indian, the Indian fascists all rose up in China. Yeah, look at this. Look, so once, once we stop taxing our people completely and start subsidizing our imports, then we get no rebel factions. That's so crazy how one-to-one -one that is. I want British pay you. Let's just, just you and me, Britain. Ah, look at these borders. A little bit better, wouldn't you say? Yeah, this is glitched. <laughs> this is the heavenly kingdom, but it clicks on me. Poor Guangxi, they've been left all alone here. <laughs> Well, I got what I wanted. That is it. Holy crap. Yes. Yep, the world is a mess. Insane, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I know I did. Jesus. 256 million people. That's a lot, that's a lot. And look at our literacy, right? I mean, we didn't get to 100%, but we started out at like 12 and got to 99. Brazil still has slavery. Come on, Brazil. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you want me to play more Victoria 2. I really enjoyed this, playing as India. Um, hit the subscribe button. Give it a like if you liked it. Leave a comment below your thoughts. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.